Welcome back. October is Agent Orange Awareness Month, and to honor this occasion, we wanted to highlight a great group making an impact in the veteran community. It's time to put another wonderful organization under the KDKA Sunday Spotlight. Joining me this week is Hugh Corrier, and he's the founder of the Vietnam Agent Orange Veterans Project. Good morning, Hugh. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Brina. How are you doing? I'm great. Happy that you're here. And before you tell us more about your organization, I think it's important to explain to people what Agent Orange actually is. Agent Orange was a chemical that they sprayed in Vietnam to kill the uh, vegetary, the, the vegetation, the leaves, and the uh, brush, uh, <clears throat> so they could see the enemy. Uh, that got, uh, they were snipers uh, up in trees and stuff. So they sprayed over 20 million gallons of uh, Agent Orange. And there's like six different kinds of uh, chemicals that they sprayed in Vietnam. And now veterans are definitely feeling the effects from it. So tell us about your organization and what you do. My organization is called the Vietnam Agent Orange Veterans Project. What we do is we honor our great veterans that has passed away uh, from complications of Agent Orange, and we honor uh, other veterans too, but our main purpose is to honor our great veterans that uh, has been uh, dying from complications of Agent Orange. And you also help those veterans who are experiencing issues from Agent Orange receive the benefits that they deserve, right? Uh, yes, we don't get involved with the uh, paper uh, paperwork too much, uh, but we uh, <clears throat> get them in the right direction. We have a great um, uh, uh, Veterans Affairs office uh, in Newcastle. Her name is Jessie Putman, and she does a great job and uh, all her staff. And we also get them in contact with the uh, state representatives and also the uh, Butler VA hospital too. Great to hear because I know that it could be hard for veterans to receive that support. So tell me, Hugh, you started this organization four years ago. Why is that? Why I started this organization is um, the Vietnam vets uh, didn't get treated very well when they came home. And uh, they were called BB killers and uh, they got spit on when they come home. I've talked to, uh, like my dad was in Vietnam for 18 months and uh, all the other uh, veterans I've talked to said they didn't get treated well and we didn't welcome them home so I got involved um, to help welcome home our great veterans. I love that and that's so important to give them the recognition they deserve. So not only do you support Vietnam veterans and their families but you're also helping veterans who are facing homelessness or need food. Tell me about that. Yes, we uh, started uh, this year with fundraising for, uh, they're called the Survival Coat. Uh, the Survival Coat is a, like a Carhartt uh, jacket that uh, at night it turns into a sleeping bag. And uh, so the homeless vets, when they're out in the, the coldness and that, they can be warm or not. And we also give them a, a, a plastic um, mat that goes underneath it that uh, volunteers at the Youngstown Blue Coat make, and it takes 720 bags to make uh, the wow. mat for that. That's amazing, and it's definitely needed for the homeless pop population. What about food in terms of food donations and food drives you're having? I know you're partnering with the Greater Pittsburgh Food Bank. Yes, we're in the process of getting set back up with the Pittsburgh Food Bank uh, so we can serve our great veterans. There's a lot of veterans that are in need and uh, we're trying to get everything set up uh, with the Pittsburgh Food Bank. Um, we're in the process of now just doing the finalations of uh, getting things set up. And we're gonna try to get it started here, maybe the first of the year again. Wonderful, and last question real quickly, if people wanna get involved or they need help, how do they contact you? Well, if you need help, if you have complications of Agent Orange, get a hold of uh, Jesse Putman at the Lawrence County Courthouse or if you want to reach out and find out what fundraisers we're having, you can look me up on Facebook, uh, Hugh G. Corrier. This All right, thank you so much, Hugh. Second. And we also have jars. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Hugh. And I know you were in the military, so thank you for your service then and your continued service after the military, continuing to help veterans. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate you coming right. on this morning.
All right, thank you. Thank you for your support too. All right, thanks. And now if you want us to spotlight an organization or a person doing good work in the community, you can just reach out to me. You can contact me on Twitter and Facebook at Brianna Smith News or email me at bsmith at kdka.com and then we'll be able to show another wonderful organization changing lives throughout our area.